but also she has, you know, I sort of look like her, and she has a really crazy voice. It's not like, uh, like you know, like Daryl Hammond, he can talk like John McCain. That's a really plain voice. Like, mm -hmm. she, not since Sling Blade has there been a voice <laughs> that anybody could do. <laughs> anybody could do, take a swing at this voice, you know. Yeah. But, and how... How would you describe it now? It's I mean, in breaking it. It's a beautiful Alaskan wind song. Uh -huh. It's a beautiful. <laughs> it's a... You know, and I guess it's not really. I try to like learn from what I, the way I know Daryl learns things, and I sort of try to figure out her. She's got that crazy accent. It's a little bit Fargo. It's mm -hmm. a little bit uh, Reese Witherspoon in Election, and it, it also. Um, I tried to base it on my friend Paula's grandma. Because uh, she, her grandma was this sweet, sweet li old lady from Joliet, Illinois, and she would always say like, "Oh, this and that and stuff like that." Mm -hmm. <laughs> and if, if, we would, um, <laughs> if you call up looking for Paula, she'd be like, "Oh no, Paula's sleeping. <laughs> no, I can't wake her. She's sleeping." And I think that might be our next vice president. <laughs> oh no. But it's, it's, it sounded to me a little, and I don't know what the connection would be, it sounds a little like upper Midwest, kind of Great Lakes region. Yeah, she's dropping the G's, you know, and she also, I asked um, uh, Seth Meyers, this is the guy who really writes all those sketches we've been doing, and so I said, can you put a lot of R's in there? Because she gets, her R's, are, she really loves the, you know, like, mm -hmm. these terrorists and William Ayers, and, <laughs> and uh, she, she digs in those R's. I think she thinks there's oil in those R's. She is digging deep. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's very strong. Thank you. And, and, uh, uh, and you, you correct me here, but I think the first one uh, seemed like it was 70% uh, verbatim taken out of... Oh, yeah, the one, we did the one that was the K Katie Kirk interview, and Seth wrote, and I said, you know what, let me go online, because I just want to write down this mm -hmm. one crazy part where she got... She got lost in a corn maze. <laughs> so she was talking, and she, and she started going like this, and she was just talking about taxes, and she just... She just got lost in that uh. corn maze. <laughs> but there's certainly been a strange reaction to it, and then I've seen people who say, "Oh no, you're helping them. You're helping uh -huh. them because people, it's people. It right. seems makes her seem nice, or you know, or the, it's or some the Republicans well, say it's sexist. Sexist? How could it be sexist? There was some lady from the McCain campaign that uh, no, so there's some lady. I'm still talking. Like, <laughs> um, <laughs> there was some lady who tried to say, you know, it's it was sexist. The one with teenage was sexist. I said, that's you know just crazy because you, you have to be able to goof on the female politicians just as much otherwise you really are treating them like they're like they're weaker or something and this Sarah Palin is a tough lady she kills things big she kills animals that are like, big 